What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Tech In. And today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys my sequel. So if you guys didn't know, I've been in the IT field for over 10 years and I'm currently working as a database administrator. And so I wanted to do a quick video on some of the stuff I actually do at work, which is uh, MySQL. Um, and actually I use Microsoft SQL, which is, you know, Microsoft's uh, SQL database. So I'm going to show you guys on Linux. Since this is a Linux channel, I want to focus in on Linux and show you guys uh, MySQL. And just go through and do a quick, a couple queries, just showing you guys how to navigate around, how to actually get into it, and manipulate data if needed. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys is how to actually install MySQL. Uh, now you can actually uh, check out one of my other videos where I show you how to install Lamp, the Lamp stack. Uh, and MySQL is ported at installation. So, I mean, it's, it's simply sudo uh, apt uh, install and then MySQL dash server. And that's pretty much it. And I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed. But I just wanted to show you guys how to install it. Uh, and if you were installing this on Orange, I'm pretty sure it's the same package. Uh, it's just sudo pacman uh, dash capital S and then MySQL server. And you should be good. And if that's not the package name, then you could query it or tab it out. And that'll let you know uh, what the server package name is. So as I stated, I'm SSH into the server. I already have MySQL server installed. And... What I want to do is go through and just run a few queries just to show you guys how to actually use it. Okay, and once you have it fully set up and configured, uh, the first step is to actually log into the SQL Server so you can actually start messing with the data. So I want to do that now. It's MySQL. And actually, since I'm in my regular user account, I have to do sudo. So sudo MySQL. Uh, dash u for the actual username which i use uh root which is the default and then uh dash p and that'll that'll just specify it to the server to ask me for my password my mysql password and as you can see this is just my sudo account or my sudo authentication right here but then this is the MySQL uh, password. So uh, you type that in after. Boom. And that lets me know I'm I'm logged in right there. Say welcome to MySQL monitor. Uh, command in with commands in with semicolon or uh, backslash G. Uh, MySQL connection ID is two. Uh, server version is 5.7.28 on Ubuntu um, and it's Oracle you know it's owned by Oracle so first thing I want to do is just run the help that way you guys can kind of see uh, some of the commands you can run while you're in there uh, but I'm not going to deal with these too much I'm just going to go down and show you guys how to actually run queries so First thing I want to show you guys is how to actually look at the databases that are actually in MySQL. And the way you do that is show databases. And then as it stated above, you got to end each statement with a semicolon. Bam. And as you can see, it's five rows. Uh, these are the actual databases. I think this is the... Uh, information schema, which is just a database for uh, MySQL. Uh, performance schema, uh, let's see, MySQL. Um, and the employee, employees database, which is a test database, which is the one I'm going to use for this video. Um, and I got this off of GitHub. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can actually download this uh, database and follow along if you want to or just run your own little queries just testing it out okay so 
the purpose of me running that command show database so I can see what database I want to work with. Um, because most of the time I just kind of specify what database I want to work with. Uh, so I don't have to write it into the query. I could just go uh, use uh, employees, which is the one we want to actually use. And you want to end with a semicolon and press enter. And as you can see, it says database change. So that means that's what the database that we actually working with. Okay, so now that we working with the actual database, now let's look at the tables in the actual database because we need to look at that in order to know what we want to work with or what we're working with when we in this database. So the command for that is simply show tables. And since we already specified the database, it's going to show only the tables for employees. And as you can see, these are all the tables that are in the employees database. Um, current department employee, department, department employee, department latest date, department manager, and so on. So it's, it's eight tables that are actually in this database. And the table I want to work with uh, for the commands that I'm going to show you guys is the employees table. Okay, so the most basic command or the most basic query that uh, you will learn, it'll, this will be the first type of query that you learn. It's basically a select query. And the way you run it is uh, basically select uh, store and then you have to specify and before I go forward, let me tell you what the store means. If you don't know, the store is pretty much a wild card. It's basically, you're basically saying select all the columns within the actual table. So every column and all the data. So select all columns, all data from the employees table. And we have to end with a semicolon and press enter. And I did this on purpose. And the reason I did this, I knew it was a lot of records in here. It's, it's over 30,000 rows or 300,000 rows of, uh, of data or employees in this table. So that's not practical to actually look at. So I'm going to condense it because right now we can't even see what the... It's so long that we can't even see what the titles or the column headers for the data to actually look at certain things. So I want to start off by showing you how to add the or use the limit uh, option that you can add to a query. So we're going to use this same query, but at the end of it, before the semicolon, we want to limit and then you could put whatever number that you want to limit it to. So I'm going to limit it to 10. That way the table is pretty short and I'm only showing you this first um, just so we can get the data in a in a small list uh, so it'll be easier for you guys to see. So let's press enter on that and as you can see it, it brings in uh, the top 10 rows for this table. So that's the limit. Okay so now that we know what the the headers are for each a column within the table I want to show you how to actually specify the columns that you want to pull so instead of using the store or the wildcard then we can specify what what columns we want to see so let's pull up that same query and let's backspace out the store and actually put the column headers in there so uh, let's say I want to look at first name And then you have to put a comma if you want to have more than one column in the query. So you have to put a comma in a space. So, and then let's say last name. And I have to put that underscore in there. And just so you know, you have to spell it the exact same way that it is in the, in the, in the table. The, the header that is. And let's actually look at the gender as well. Um, press enter. Okay. Now, as you can see, 
if we look at the last uh, query we ran, it pulled every column. So this one, since we specified the columns that we want to see, it only pulled those columns. Okay, so the next thing I want to add to our query is the actual where condition. And if you look at the query, it's starting to kind of sound like a sentence. That's the way I look at it. Uh, it's almost like writing a sentence out. You're basically saying select whatever columns from whatever table with whatever conditions. So it's pretty simple. Let's let's um, use this same query, but uh, I want to add the where uh, condition in there. And where you add that is after the actual table that you pull in. And before this limit, most, most of the time this limit wouldn't be there because um, I'm only doing that, like I said, to make the, the row, make it not have like 30,000 rows popping up. So let's actually um, use where um, gender, since this is an easy one, gender equals um and just so you know, when you're looking at um, columns with like text in it, um, you have to put it in quotes in order to, you know, pull it up in order to actually do a where on it. Otherwise, it's going to error out. And plus, you have to actually use what the text is, exactly what the text is. It's kind of case sensitive unless you do like a like, uh, which is different. Um, but if it's equals then it has to be exact. So I just wanted to point that out. So basically what I'm doing is select first name, last name, gender from employees table where gender equals male. And let's press enter. And as you can see, it pulls all the, all the males for this actual uh, table. And of course you could do the same thing for female by just changing that to F and press enter and it's pulling all the females pretty cool so far right okay so the next thing i want to show you guys is how to actually sort uh, a query that you're running and we're going to take this same query i'm going to remove the where clock condition and i want to replace it with the order by so it's basically o or d and then space by And then what you want to do is specify the column that you want to order by. And by default, it actually orders everything as ascending. And you have to specify if you want it descending. So I just wanted to point that out. And I'll show you how to run the descending. But this is ascending right here. So I'm going to look at the, let's say, first name. And actually, first underscore name. And press enter and as you can see it puts it in alphabetical order ascending by the the column that you specify so and the reason it looks totally different is because I'm I still have that limit to only 10 records and so what it's doing is pulling in all the data and only showing the top 10 records uh, so when it sorted it uh, ascending so it's only going to show those top three records so it sorted everything so like this stuff that like M that's going to be way down in the middle of the actual records uh, so it's just bringing all up all the A's to the top so just want to make sure you guys understood that okay and just to show you guys how to do a descending uh, so you can specify that you want to actually put that after the column you want to uh, sort so just basically order by first name and then descending and then our limit that I, I've been keeping in there. So if we run that, as you can see, it pulls all of uh, everybody's last name starts with a Z and, uh, you know, up from there. So like I stated, this was going to be a very simple video. I just want to show you guys a few select queries and and just show you how to actually log in to MySQL. I'm gonna do some more videos and try to do a little bit more complex stuff, to like updating data, 
uh, deleting data. So I want to go through and do kind of a, like a little series and just show you guys uh, different queries, you know, and how to manipulate data. So if you're trying to get into data, data science or anything dealing with SQL, then uh, this would be a good video. These would be a couple good videos where you can start and just basically learn the basics. Uh, and I know this is a very simple video. I told you guys, uh, I knew it was going to be simple. That's why I was kind of holding off on actually doing it because I didn't, I actually didn't know if I wanted to do this or not because it's so simple. And some people get put off when you do like very simple videos, but I mean, you got to start, you know, at the beginning for some people because some people have never seen this stuff. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Uh, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have a question, please leave a comment down below. And of course, keep it techie.